Hello everyone. Uh, today let's take a break from our long video series and do a element uh, trick. Yeah, this is the element pro trick, not element free one. Yeah, let me show you how to use element pop up anywhere in your element page design. Okay. First, what we need to do is yeah, go to the pop ups template pop ups and design a the yeah, design a pop up the uh, template. I have already done that. Yeah, it's a simple uh, pop up video player. Here it is. So I call it demo. Now let me show you how to use this anywhere. Yeah, in this space, let's edit this space with Elementor and let me show you. With Elementor Pro, we have options for dynamic content. Yeah, we can link our widgets with dynamic content. We can load dynamic contents with our Elementor widgets. So likewise, here, for example, this simple button widget, we can load a dynamic content here. Here, instead of simple uh, URL, we can in the yeah dynamic content here. Lots of options here. Accents we can uh, yeah. Uh, choose pop up and in pop up we can choose our template demo yeah demo template here after uh, let's update this and preview I if I click on this button yeah it will open the pop up template yeah this simple uh, pop up video player likewise same for other widgets for example icon widget here let's say change to play yeah this uh, with this we can use as yes, this icon as a for pop up video player same yeah. like that before yeah this is how generally we yeah use elementor pro pop up but for example if you want to use this pop up elsewhere here for example inside this acceptance acceptance uh, form fill of this element of form here this is a uh, acceptance form fill form tab here uh, we, we need to insert terms and conditions if you uh, click this yeah for example click this if uh, you accepted our terms and conditions something like this and to link the terms and conditions we need to link these terms and conditions to uh, the terms and condi condition piece by default we can in just insert a simple uh, html a tech yeah, yeah, html code and link this to time and condition piece but today <coughs> few years ago someone commented on my youtube channel that how to link this uh, terms and conditions link to uh, Elementor Pro pop up. So let me show you how to do that here. First, uh, let's update this. And yeah, here on the preview. Okay. And click on the right click on this button, inspect it. Here, as I have shown you before, this but uh, this button I have link uh, to the uh, pop up. So here, let's edit this uh, with as uh, HTML. Here is the HTML tag link. So copy it here up to here, and ins insert it here and close the back yeah here like this 
and start it here again close the air deck like this okay and update this if now I if I click on this terms and conditions link yeah it will open a proverb so in this proverb template you can insert all your terms and conditions so instead of opening to a new page to a terms and condition page you can display your terms and conditions as a proverb like you have seen in many websites so yeah so like like this if if using this URL code here is the URL okay here there is the URL here this is the URL using this URL you can link this uh, uh, proverb element of proverb anywhere for example uh, yeah in text editor inside text editor too here you can insert this link oh sorry mm -hmm. copy this go to text editor and insert it here okay here is the link if I update this okay and yeah like this so anywhere you can link it for example in few uh, yeah for example this column if this column is linkable if there is a rub link in many errors element of errors there is a rub link we can insert the uh, link for columns or sections in that case uh, we can also add proverb for columns or sections so meaning we can use this element of pro proverb anywhere in your design not limited to the dyna uh, dynamic content or buttons or widgets uh, icons um, but see, there is limitation here one thing I like about first thing where uh, when I yeah, started designing uh, WordPress were designing uh, websites with WordPress first thing I use pop-ups and models is from OSINT WP OSINT model so one thing I like about OSINT WP OSINT model is that we can open the model by inserting a CSS class not link but CSS class by in the, uh, yeah adding a CSS class uh, to the button or the, the, the or the concerned particular widget we can uh, open the model or the you know, power so element uh, pro does not have the CSS class if CSS class uh, if there is any CSS class there won't be so much troublesome uh, trouble here to get this uh, link to get a link I have to this uh, uh, first this insert a button and link the uh, yeah link the proverb to the button inspect it here again uh, to get the uh, yeah this high URL HTML or yeah URL so if there is CSS class, you you can avoid this. So I hope that uh, Elementor Pro, uh, Elementor developer team, provide uh, CSS class in the future. Okay, uh, I hope this video is helpful to you. And if you find this video helpful, informative, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. And above all, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, see you in the next video.